In the heart of North Dakota, nestled between the tranquil waters of Devil's Lake, a timeless legend has woven itself into the fabric of local folklore. A legend that speaks of a colossal and mysterious creature known as the Devil's Lake Monster. The tale of this mysterious lake dweller has been passed down through generations, shared by Native American tribes who called these lands their home long before the arrival of European settlers. The descriptions of the creature vary, but there's a common thread, a creature with alligator-like jaws and piercing red eyes that glow like mirrors reflecting the red hues of the sunset. In the lazy days of August, as the sun begins its descent, the Devil's Lake monster is said to make an appearance, casting eerie flashes of red light upon the water's surface. Its tail, an astonishing 80 feet in length, leaves a shimmering wake as it glides through the lake's depths. The serpent's movements are deliberate, almost methodical, as it circles the lake over the course of a day or two, remaining about half a mile away from the shore. The serpent's coloration is an unsettling slimy green, and its body generates distinct waves of motion from head to tail. Enormous ragged fins adorn its sides, and its jaws, or the area just behind them, bear protrusions that trail along in the water. When angered, these projections take on a nightmarish, bristling appearance. This aquatic creature's scales shift from a glistening sheen to lying flat against its back, resembling a common snakeskin. Witnesses have reported the serpent's sudden and violent lashing of the water, creating foamy white upheaval in its wake. One such account, dating back to 1915, involves a group of individuals who were strolling along the Chattaquaca grounds at Devil's Lake. Among them were Mrs. C.F. Craig of Leeds, Mrs. Edgar LaRue, and Mrs. Carr Cleveland. Their walk along the lake's bank was disrupted when they spotted an object resembling a sea serpent, roughly a mile from the shore. Retrieving opera glasses, they scrutinized the creature's every detail. What they witnessed sent shivers down their spines. The serpent, swimming northward across the lake, left a vast wake behind it, a testament to its immense size and power. Its body, thick and covered with black scales, darted through the water. Its head, reminiscent of a serpent, possessed a darting tongue and eyes as large as goose eggs, which glowed with an intense and unsettling anger. Another chilling sighting took place in 1915, witnessed by several individuals, including E.M. Lewis, a businessman who observed the creature from a passing train near Devil's Lake. Each account, separated by time and circumstance, contributes to the enduring mystery of the Devil's Lake monster a legend that continues to captivate the imagination of those who dare to explore the mysterious depths of this North Dakota treasure.